This Moodle activity is called a forum. Similar to posting on social media, when someone posts to a forum, another user can read that post and reply a few minutes later, or hours, or days later. There are many ways your instructor may use forums, such as reporting and editing posted assignments, discussion of readings, online debates, discussion of case studies, a library of online resources discovered by the students, or simply a student lounge. Before you make a post, you will want to read all of the instructions. Most often, your professor will likely use either a standard forum where students can make as many posts as they like, or a forum where each person posts a single discussion. They may ask you to make a post about a certain topic, then reply to other students' posts. There are also some other, less popular forum setups, like a Q&A forum, where your professor may post a single question that students must respond to before seeing other students' posts. To post in a forum, all you need to do is click Add a new discussion topic. Write your subject and message, then click Post to Forum. The easiest way to reply to a forum is to click on the post, click Reply, write your message, then click Submit. When replying like this in a forum, you're in Quick Reply mode, which hides additional features. Clicking the Advanced link will make these additional features appear. When you click Advanced, you can change your subject, use the HTML editor in your message, attach any files you may want, then click Post a Forum. Let's take a moment to talk about the HTML editor. The HTML editor allows you to customize your message with a variety of features. You can format your text with headings, you can bold or italicize text, you can create bullet points or a numbered list, you can underline or strike through text, and you can indent or change the alignment of text or other files like images. You can also create hyperlinks within your text by writing out a word, highlighting it, clicking the link button or hitting Control K, pasting a link, clicking Open in a new window, then clicking Create Link. This can be very useful when referencing websites within a forum post, and it's much better than simply pasting the link in as text. You can also remove the link by clicking the Unlink button. You can insert an image by clicking the Insert or Edit Image button, which looks like a framed picture of a mountain. Here, you can either enter the URL of an image you found on the web, or you can directly upload an image to Moodle by clicking Browse Repositories. You can choose to upload an image directly from your device, or you can select an image from a cloud storage account like Google Drive or Dropbox. To upload from your device, click Choose File, select the image you want to upload, and click Open. Give the image a name to save it as, then click Upload This File. To make sure your image is accessible, write a brief description of it in the box beneath the words describe this image for someone who cannot see it. Then click Save Image. You can insert an audio or video file by clicking the Insert or Edit Audios or Video File button, which looks like a camera on a piece of paper, and following roughly the same process. This makes responding to something like a forum with a video instead of or including text very quick and easy. You can record audio by clicking the Record Audio button, then clicking Record, speaking or creating whatever sounds you want to record, then clicking Stop. You can pause while recording, and you can play your recording back to you. When you're satisfied, click Upload, then Insert. You can record a video or take a picture following the same process. You can even draw a picture directly in Moodle. You will likely not need to use all of the functions in the HTML editor. In general, your forum posts will contain mostly text and maybe some links, but it's good to understand the possibilities you have within the HTML editor.